Hi, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Honeybee and the papers from um, Celebrations. Couldn't remember where I got them from. So to make this card, I have used, I've done a lot of cutting out already, as I do. I used an A4 sheet of basic black, cut at 4 and 1 8 and folded in half. That will give us 5 and 7 8 by 4 and 1 8. I have a piece of the black designer series paper and on the other side it's white with the black grid. You see that? And that is 5 and 5 8 by 3 and 7 8. I've also cut out two honeycombs and I haven't um, poked out the bits because we want the bits to stick on here like I've done here and I've also cut out three strips of card they're three and a half by three and three quarter by three quarters of an inch so that's three and a half by three quarters and I've flagged them. I've also put white card on them and these are half an inch by three and a quarter. No, three and a half, sorry. No, start again. They're half an inch by three and a quarter, that's right. These are three and a half by three quarters. And then I flagged them as well. You need three of them. You need a piece of card, which is this piece, that measures two and a half by four and a half. So it's two and a half by four and a half, and that will go on there like that. And also the bees. I will stamp the bees, even though I have cut them out already stamped and got them out. I haven't coloured them in so we'll do that together but first of all we need to stamp the bees and I've got a bit of scrap here to stamp them so with my black ink and want three. I am going to stamp three because I plan on making another card so they will come in handy. In fact I'm going to do four. That way I don't waste the paper. So I've stamped them and I would cut them out. First I'm going to clean my stamp. Well, a nice clean cloth here and I'm going to put black ink on it. Um, let's take off as much as that black I can clean that alright so I am going to bring in the three I've already cut off cut off cut out and we're going to colour them in and I have got Daffodil Delight Dark and Soft Sea Foam Light. So with the Daffodil Delight Dark, we're just going to colour in his body bits. Like that. And then with the soft sea foam, we're going to colour in his wings. Now you're not going to see much of this because they're quite dark wings anyway. But you'll get a haze of green on there. I'm going to add some blue as well, I think. Now 
I'm going to get some and seaside. Oh no, I use this one. This is Barmy Blue. And what I'm going to do is just go in off the head and just add a bit of blue. You won't be able to see the difference down there. So if I bring one up, you can see the colour I've added on his wings. So that's a wet hand. Just spilt my drink all over the table. Jump and mop it up. Right then, on this bit, on the piece of paper, and with our honeycombs, we're going to poke out the bits. Got a few bits here. That would fill out. And with these, we're going to glue them in between the hexagons, I think they're called. Honeycombs, like that, but straight. And that's what we're going to do, just around the edge, all around the edge. So, with my glue, I popped some glue around there, and I stuck it on. I think I'll just glue the honey. Oh, I've got two here. Just stick some glue on the honeycombs. This is getting them to stick straight. Now don't go all in every single one of them. I'll be here for ages if I did that. So what I do is put one on and then maybe this one I'll put Covered in glue here. Got two there. Should you use tweezers? Oh, there's two here. I think I should have done this before I come to film. Then we would have had nothing to do. Put one there. So I'm just randomly putting them round the edges. Just 
changing the look of the paper really. Put this one there. Now, what would you normally do with these bits? You'd throw them away, wouldn't you? Right, if we put that on top, yeah, that'll do. So I actually used one whole honeycomb and one. So now we have to poke all these ones out because we do need both honeycombs. Two of them here. Now these we need to stick evenly on here like that. So just a bit of glue on them. I'm going to stick it this way because that's the way I stuck the cones on the paper. Join that up with that one. Right, um, did I put that? No, I didn't. Right, that's that one on. Right, we're going to glue this onto our card base. And then with our three banners, I couldn't remember what they were called, we're going to glue them 
there like that. So we'll give the middle one first. Um, this idea comes from Pinterest. And the person who made a card similar to this, because I have changed it up to make it my own, she actually used ribbon under this. And as I don't have any yellow and white ribbon, which she used, I've made banners. I'm saying it's a she. I believe it to be a she. Yeah, that do. And then this, I glue on top. Now I'm gluing it rather than putting dimensionals on because dimensionals are going on the bees. And then we just sit the three bees on top. So we need some dimensionals. I did get a delivery the other day with some new dimensionals in them. Now put an order in and Three things are placed on order or all back order, which is not great. They both celebrate, all three of them are celebration stamp set, a new stamp set, well said, uh, well dressed. Not three for me, obviously. And they will go on like that. So let's take the backings off. What else was on back order? Oh, I'm replacing all my inks with the new star. One or two at a time. And uh, I ordered four inks this month actually. And Three, uh, three came, and early espresso was on back order. What else? I've got three things come, two things come today. So if the doorbell goes, it'll be Mr. Brown with my delivery. There we are. That is the front. I haven't put a sentiment on this because it can be used for anything. Right, inside I did, oh, I did do something inside. So let me get a white piece of card, put these away. And get the small B and a block. And the ink. What I did, I stamped two bees outside. And going to put this on while I colour, but colour the um, bees in.
bit of blue. Right, and we'll glue this inside. there we have it. Hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards please subscribe and if you press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.